So what can I say everybody? This is my first full length Diamond Dynasty commentary. Why is that? Because it's the first one that actually went an entire game with somebody not quitting. That's right. So I am actually currently 15 and 3 in ranked seasons. And you wanna know how many of those games have gone the distance as of right now? Three. Three! Only three games have gone the distance. I'm two and one in games that have gone the distance. And all the other games, everybody pretty much quits out by the fifth inning. So I'm using Jacob to grom this game who I haven't really been able to figure out how to pitch with too well. But one thing I can tell you guys is actually gonna be the last I think this is gonna be the last video that you see from me where I'm using meter pitching. I have gotten away from meter pitching. I know a lot of people have been saying for a long time you should go to analog pitching. It's more precise once you get used to it. It's a much better way to pitch. So I was actually doing some Rockies missions today because um, I got the uh, this, the mission to start, um, what's his face, to get that flashback of Baldo Jimenez as Adrian Beltre takes me freaking deep here. Laser beam shot over. He was early. But it was right down the middle, so nothing I can really complain about there. If, he's, if it was even a little bit early, he was right down the pipe. And it was disgusting. And look at Trey Turner here. And that's why I don't start Brandon Crawford. Everybody tells me, why do you have Trey Turner starting instead of instead of Brian Crawford? Why? Because Trey Turner hits better. He's speedy. And he does stuff like that. All right, I know in real life, Brandon Crawford is a better fielder. But guess what? This is in real life. All right, this is the video game here. And to tell you the truth, Turner's fielding is more than good enough more than good enough and he's fast as hell so that's why he's going to be staying in the lineup for the brooklyn bulldogs all right it is simple it is as simple as that he sets the table look at his statistics i'm hitting like 400 with him hitting 400 with him why the hell would i bench him i'm hitting 400 with him. he's like over 10 home runs also oh here's our, our boy freddie freeman i gotta say guys freddie freeman go get freddie freeman i know this i said this in my last video freddie freeman one of my favorite cards in this game he's an absolute freaking monster so pretty much what i what i'm doing with him is for whatever reason for freddie freeman i like to look for stuff generally down in the zone i tend to like rake it like this right here send this baby into the gap it's all you gotta do it's all you gotta do and all right just like that we're already on the board we tied up this game tied it up i was like all right usually when i get down early in games i'm like uh oh i don't know if i'm gonna be able to uh come back from this but i don't know why my run differential is ridiculous actually i think i have i've scored like 90 something runs in, in ranked and I think I've given up like 20, mainly because people quit all the time. So that's why my, my runs per game actually is not that high because people just quit. You win four nothing in the first inning, people quit. And that's it. They like friendly concede. I'm like friendly, friendly. No, no friendly quit. Oh, and yo, and it's Cespedes goes deep off that hanger. That's it. That's it. Yo, and it's Cespedes just taking, taking him deep, just like that. Three one ball game. I was feeling. Pretty damn good about it. I gotta get used to the editing here. This was a 40 minute video, edit it down. So, I got taken deep here, though. This actually wasn't an awful pitch, though. He was on it. Who, who was that? Starling Marte took me opposite field deep? I don't, I don't think so. It actually, was, it was, the pitch was a little fat and he had good timing on it. Can't complain about a pitch like that. But there actually are a few here in this. Uh, <laughs> there were a few hits in this game that I wasn't uh, too pleased about. You'll see them in a. Uh, little bit but like I was saying I gotta learn how to edit these things down a little bit I got down this one down to what like 30 minutes or something like that I had 30 minutes 13 minutes I thought this one was gone too I actually was like get the hell out of here I thought he, they hit another home run off me and I was like oh nope thank you City Field for being freaking gigantic speaking about City Field I'm actually going there tonight going to the Met game tonight hopefully I'll be able to get this video rendered out before I leave that may not actually happen so you may be seeing this tomorrow which means I went to the game last night and I'm hoping my Mets are going to win. I'm actually sitting in the 100 sections today. So I'm going to be on field level watching Mets and uh, some Mets and Phillies action. Hopefully the Mets can continue to uh, destroy the Phillies and come back from that uh, that rough, rough series they just had with the uh, Miami Marlins where they won. They lost. They pretty much lost each game by a run. Actually, no, the last game they lost by two runs, but it was a, it was a walk-off two-run shot after they tied it in the ninth. Very, very, uh, very heartbreaking way to lose the game. Like I said, hopefully I'll be getting this uh, video up tonight, though. And you, maybe you, some of you guys will be watching it before the pre-games happen. So one thing I want to talk about in this game is, I'm sure we're going to see him within a few seconds here, is my David Wright. David Wright, this flashback David Wright card, 99 overall. 
You guys have to get it. I know it's an expensive, relatively expensive card to get because he's a 99 overall. So not only do you need to do the Mets collection, which involves getting Syndergaard, Yoenis Cespedes. Oh, look at this beautiful play by David. Delicious. I know Beltre doesn't run too fast, but you know, it is what it is. But, you know, I don't know if you guys ever watched ESPN when they used to do the web gems and all those things. But, you know, what, what always used to happen, though? Just think about it for, like, a second. What used to happen all the time when they showed a player do something really, really good in the field. There was something they always used to do after that. I don't know if any of you guys remember that. I sure do remember it because that's pretty much what I used to watch all the time with Sports Center and Baseball Tonight. I don't really watch that stuff too much uh, any longer as Trey Turner here hits a nice little shot into the into the gap. Bloop a little uh, single in there. I didn't believe that was a contact swing. But, you know, what happens when you make a good play in the field right after that? Boom! Opposite field power for David Wright. I don't think this one actually goes out. It hits off the wall. We're going to David Wright this uh, 70 speed overall. He could burn it. So we get a uh, triple right here. Opposite field power triple. And you know what happens when you, uh, like I said, when you, <laughs> when you make a good play in the field? I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I know what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, here's Freddie Freeman, by the way. Freddie Freeman, you guys, you guys got to get this card. Bam! Get off me, ball! Home run, Freddie Freeman. Monster. What I was going to say was, you know when uh, you make a good play in the field, you do something good at the uh, at bat later? It's when we edit it that way. That's what I was going to say, and I this pissed me off. All right. So I thought I made a pretty good pitch there. Inside corner. It looked to me his swing was late as hell, but he ropes one down the line with Victor Martinez. Let's see where that goes. What? What does it say? Late? Late? Look at this shit! Tired of this. Tired of this. One thing was on the outside corner or the middle of the plate, and he was late. You know, and I don't know what he was waiting for. I don't think if I was going to catch this. And then once he did not go, why was he sending? Tell me this. Why was he sending Victor Martinez with 11 speed? Why was he saying to go home with zero outs? With no outs. It doesn't make any sense. There's two outs, and I throw you out the plate. And that makes all the sense in the world, you know. Well, actually, with two outs, you'd be going. But... With less than with less than two outs, you don't send your guy to get gunned down at the plate. It just doesn't make sense. They should fire their third base coach. No reason why he should still be there. They should fire him for sending Victor Martinez. That was stupid. So really, this guy's stupidity so you saved me there because I, really early on in this game, I was like, I don't know what's what's going on here. I was having a little trouble finding uh, my pitching. You see, I got my bullpen up already because I I was like, I don't know what the hell's going on here. So, um, like I was saying before, I'm no longer doing the uh, the meter pitching. Meter pitching is donezo. I'm done with it. It's too unpredictable. And because of the unpredictability of it, I switched over to uh, analog when I was doing the Ubaldo Jimenez uh, epic player mission. I had to do, I had to get 60 strikeouts with Colorado Rockies pitching which is in Conquest, which is not fun, by the way, because the Rockies pitchers suck. They're awful. The best one's John Gray, and the relievers aren't that great either. They give up a ton of home runs. I mean, the, th the thing is, I was playing most. I mean, I was playing mostly on veteran, and it still took me like I don't know nine games to complete. It wasn't like I was striking out everybody. So I finally finished that, and you have to feed some cards to get that Ubaldo Jimenez. So he'll be actually making his uh, his debut very soon. He's an 89 overall All Star card. He's pretty damn filthy. His per nines are pretty damn good. His velocity is like a 90. It's a monster. Monster card, so I'm looking forward to having him uh, joining up with the squad. And here's a uh, David Wright. Is this David Wright? Yeah, this is David Wright once again. Like it's David Wright, one of my favorite cards in the game. Guys, you should go out to get him. Save your stubs. Go out to get him. I honestly think he's a more valuable card than that 99 overall Andre Dawson. Don't get me wrong, the Andre Dawson card is actually slightly better, but Andre Dawson is an outfielder. David Wright is a third baseman. If you look at all the third basemen in the game, there's no third baseman that has hitting stats close to him, with the exception of that, uh... Oh, this is a bomb! Gets into one here as he lifts this ball high and deep to left field. Into the second deck and gone. Absolutely freaking delicious. David Wright with another bomb. He's a monster card. He destroys righties and lefties. I think he's... Lefties is even worse. Lefties have no chance against Mr. Mr. David Wright. No one has a chance to get Captain America. Get this card. Get this Freddie Freeman card again if you don't have it. There's no reason not to have Freddie. He's going up in value every day. Get him. I'm telling you, in real life, he's killing it. He's going to be a diamond card 
very, very soon, and I, I <laughs> he's gonna be better than he is right here. This is it's kind of freaking scary. My guess is they're gonna jump up his stats against lefties because I'm not pretty sure he's hitting them pretty well. So um, yeah, there's here's all that. So yeah, so try to get that David Wright because like I was saying, he's better in my opinion. He's better than um, the Andre Dawson, and the only other third baseman that's anywhere near as good as him is the George Brett card, and that George Brett card, it's like the, the 85 George Brett postseason card, you have to do a ton of crap to get him, like, you won't be getting him anytime soon, you can get the David Wright, see, I so happened to get lucky, and I actually packed the Jose Altuve, yeah, 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 I sold him, I know people are gonna get on me, people did get on me for selling that Jose Altuve, but my team is ridiculous because I sold that one card, because I sold him for 150k, I don't even think he's going for that much now. So I got a crap ton of stubs, and I was able to actually buy Yoannis Espedes and Noah Syndergaard, both when they were under 60k. Now they're both over 85k the last time I checked. But um, the Mets collection, guys, is fantastic. I, I really say you should get it. You get all the good live cards that they have right now. So you get Syndergaard, you get DeGrom, you get Yoannis Espedes, Jerry's Familia. They're all worth using, although I don't have Jerry's Familia in my, uh, in my bullpen. Although I probably should, but I don't. I don't have, I had bad luck with him last year, and look at me taking second here on just the stupidity of this guy. Um, yeah, I don't know, I had bad luck with him last year, so it's one of those things I'm just trying to stay away from, but still, it's still a solid card, the per nines are actually pretty decent, so it's a solid card, and then you get the, uh, the 95, uh, overall flashback, uh, Brett Saberhagen from, like, 1992 or 3, I think, or 91, maybe it was, where he, where he actually, that year, he won more games than batters he walked, so he has, a uh, and then, oh, David, David! David, I'm highlighting you this game, and you have to do that ugly throw. And you know what happens when you give up an error, right? Bada bing, bada boom, say goodbye. And watch where this ball was. That was an inside curveball, and I thought he was late on it. I really did. I was like, I got to see where this was. Let's take a look at this. What? Excuse me? He's late on an inside curveball, and he tattoos it opposite field. They need to change this. I don't know how many times. Oh, David. Oh! Into the gap, opposite field power, gap to gap power, man, this was David, it's so accurate, this is what he did, 2007, he should have won the MVP that year, to be honest with you, had the highest war, the only person in higher war in the, in the league that year was uh, Albert Pujols, and Albert Pujols, I think he, uh, the Cardinals were not good that year, so that's, and so, and his numbers were comparable to many other people, I think David actually should have won, uh, actually the Mets didn't make the playoffs that year either, it wasn't his fault though, they missed it by a game actually, I feel David should have won it uh, that year, probably if they made the playoffs, he would have won it, but it is, it is what it is. He had like an 8.3 war that year. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm losing my, uh, my train of thought. Oh, uh, that was a stupid, uh, swing over there. I kind of just wanted to get this game over at this point, though. Although, you know, uh, no leads are safe anywhere. I, I just need to get out of this, um, these lower divisions, to be honest with you. I can't wait to get into the division series. I'm actually currently rated 681. I have a couple games after this, um, to upload, and I'm probably not going to play again until I upload those videos, so I have a few more to, to post up. But, um, it's a loss and a win, actually, probably. I don't, maybe I won't even post that loss. I don't know, you guys probably won't see the loss, too. It's actually a pretty good game. I won't tell you which one's which. But, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna post the, uh, next two games. I'm just under the wild card right now. I'm currently ranked a 681, and I'm 15-3 and three overall, with one of those losses being a game that froze, and I just, you know, after an hour of waiting, I just, you know, said, screw it. <laughs> maybe it wasn't an hour, but it was actually when the game first dropped, so it was probably only, like, 20 minutes, and then I, uh, I turned it off. So really, I'm 15 and two. You know, maybe I would have won that game, maybe not. Who the hell knows? But actually, there's only there's two outs left in the inning right here. I mean, two outs left. One out left to go. See if we can strike this guy out to end the game. See if our, our Brooklyn Bulldogs can pull out yet another win. And there it is. That is it, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this commentary. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully, I will catch you guys soon. Later.